Alright guys, welcome to another beer review, and uh, today we're going over to Germany, and we are going to, where is the, there it is, the Urdiger Obergeriger Hausbrauerei in Bergerstrasse 1 Dusseldorf, and this is the Alt beer clocking in at 4.7% ABV in a rather snazzy fluted bottle. Uh, would you call that a fluted bottle? I don't know. With a nice swing top with the Uriga logo on there as well. Okay, so. Seit 1862 Hausgebraut um Abgefüllt in der Düsseldorfer Altstadt. Warum warum wird anderes? Uh, dat leckere don't know if you understand it then. A uh, Strupke. So, um, yeah, basically an alt beer. And uh, a style that I've not played around with too much. So, uh, I'm looking forward to it. And then a 330ml bottle. Beautiful etching around there. And then a nice neck. So, let's get this beer opened. Loads of smoke and loads of uh, spittle. Uh, pick this up from Beers of Europe, great website if you want your uh, traditional European beers. Uh, there's some craft on there as well, but it is, I'd say, predominantly uh, for the folks who like to buy the sort of like traditional Belgian, German style beers, European, there's a few American ones. Some really nice surprises on there, but uh, to me, uh, I was just blown away by the range of German beers and... Uh, a great service all round to be honest I've used them twice and I've been extremely satisfied both times but uh, yeah this isn't a shameless plug although if uh, beers of Europe want to uh, sponsor the channel that'd be absolutely fine but uh, anyway beer in the glass then and it's got that sort of like lovely rustic amber copper look to it nice levels of clarity although that being said it is a little it's a tiny bit hazy uh, but I would imagine that could be primarily um, chill haze. And the beer poured with a slight sort of khaki looking head, sort of khaki. I'd say it properly, not the stupid Americanized one. Khaki. Khaki. That didn't sound like an Australian accent. Uh, but yeah. So uh, a lovely looking beer by all accounts. I was trying to generate some head and it just spilt all over my leg. So let's see what we get on the nose. It's a real sweet muskiness in there. A little bit of a berry character. A little bit of caramel brown sugar. Subtle sp spicy. I was going to say spiciness. Or spiciness. Uh, sort of spiciness. A little bit of smokiness as well, like a sweet piece of smoke. But yeah, it's got that sort of like rustic aroma to it. Smells really interesting. Looks pretty good. Let's give it a taste. Prost. Ooh. To me, this has got an absolutely lovely smoky profile to it. Not to the point where it would be a Rauch beer, because it's not. But yeah, it's got a really lovely smoky roastiness. And woodiness on the back end. It's got a really woody bitterness. Yeah, it's got like quite a bold body for such a light ABV beer. But at the same time, it's really crisp as well. Quite refreshing and drinkable. Um, it has got that sort of like woody roastiness there, subtle sweet tones. But yeah, I'm getting like loads of barrel character on this. I'll just say it's got like this like barrel aged character. You get a little bit of nuttiness in there, like caramelized nuts, but not too sweet. A little bit of cakiness, but again, not too sweet nor too dense. Lovely well rounded. I think it's the back end on this beer that really sticks out. <coughs> it's a very robust finish. Lovely barrel woodiness. That's that's the best way I can describe it. That's been 
slightly charred. It's got that like subtle burnt toast character. Burnt edges in general. There's even like a, a meaty savouriness about it. And you know what? This would make an absolutely wonderful gravy. Or like a really nice dark sauce. Like a really nice big piece of um, like big like braising steak. Put in a slow cooker with like just cooking or marinating in this beer. Because that would complement like loads of gamey meat dishes as well. It's definitely a beer that I would pair with something. Um, it's definitely a beer that I would have with a main meal. Loads of like sort of rye bread character, maybe a little bit of pumpernickel as well. Hmm. I need to drink more Alt beers because the flavour profiles on these are just... They've been really appealing the last couple that I've had. They're like a little bit more like robust versions of lagers that don't really dive into the sort of like Dunkel beer. Um, in fact, I'm not going to lie, as much as I adore German brewing culture, there's still a shed ton that I've got to learn. But I've really got to learn more about this style because that's something a little bit different. It's so full of character. If you love your Dunkel beers, then it's got those sort of similar characters, but a little bit more robust, a little bit harsher on that savoury woodiness. But I personally think that works beautifully. And even though this is chilled down slightly, um, it's still get you're still getting all those flavours. This would be lovely at room temperature, slightly chilled. If you wanted to cook with it or not, you know, you'd definitely be able to do something interesting with it. But yeah, that's absolutely lovely. Um, there are still some parts that I need to work out, but that's just the style itself. Um, and that makes it hard to rate the beer as well, because I've not had too many like really solid examples of the style. But it's simple yet robust. It's complex at the same time, but beautifully balanced. And uh, from what I can gather, it's actually becoming a really lost style. Um, because was it Dusseldorf? Uh, let me see. Yeah, Dusseldorf. Apparently a lot of the like traditional breweries are just not brewing these anymore. And a lot of them are like contract brewed. So it is a really sort of forgotten brewing. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? You know what I mean. Um, and that's really sad. It's got so much heritage to it. And um, I think a lot of the the sort of uh, renowned out beer breweries are more like brands now, now owned by bigger <coughs> conglomerates. But um, yeah, this, this is a lovely beer nonetheless. So if you want me like your mature sort of tasting beers then. It's got loads of like barrel aged quality to it on the flavour. And it works really, really well. So in terms of a rating, uh, I'm going to give the Erdiger Alt Beer a 7.5 out of 10. I think that's really, really nice. So if you've tried it, let me know your thoughts and opinions down below. What's some of your favourite Alt Beers? Are you a fan of the style? Uh, if you can give me a little bit of a history lesson, always appreciated. Um, I know Tony Howard is a fan of these beers. And uh, I think he's like a really big, well, I think he's a big fan of German beer anyway. So I'll put his uh, link down below because I'm sure he's done a review of this. And of course, if anyone else has reviewed it, I'll put their links down below as well. So uh, yeah, check out the brewery. Check out Beers of Europe if you're in the UK and you want some really good beer. Uh, highly recommended. And um, yeah, check out my German beer playlist. And uh, look out for more Alt Beer reviews in the future. Because it's definitely a style that I really want to get into. But um, yeah, lovely stuff. Highly recommended, and uh, yeah, your thoughts and opinions are always welcome. Thank you for watching, and I shall hopefully see you all later. Cheers!